kind of accommodations are there? ASL interpreters are a common one. They can be provided two ways, in person and virtually as a video relay interpreter or VRI. However, VRI can have issues. Take a look. Well, the good news is the surgery had no issues, no complications. The next thing I will explain what you need to do next. In the meantime, do you have any questions? This is one of the pitfalls of using a VRI if not used properly. Sometimes there's inadequate bandwidth for a clear communication, or the available interpreter does not have fluency in medical terms. In your packets, you will find the protocol for using VRI properly. You must ensure a single line of connection and adequate bandwidth, and every staff must know how to use it. Sometimes a VRI can be used in case of walk-in patients or in the emergency room as a temporary measure. A live interpreter can be there to ensure communication access in all stages of a medical appointment, from the waiting room to the examination to checking out. Helping ensure deaf patients have equitable medical care from the moment they walk in the doors. Remember, not all deaf people are the same. That means not all deaf people may sign. You may get a request for CART, a live captioning service. The service provider will have a device used to caption your conversation in live time. The deaf patient will likely choose to speak with you. Please take two Tylenol per day to deal with the pain. Secondly, we will schedule a follow-up appointment one week from now. They may also choose to use a speech-to-text app on their phone. Whatever accommodations they request should be honored to the most of your ability. Take the time to learn and always be open and ready to adapt.